Hello and welcome to the MicroDimensions tutorial series for Volume. This tutorial will show you how to work with your reconstruction results in the ForView interface. What you see here is the ForView interface of Volume. In the upper left corner, you find the serial sections you have reconstructed before, shown as a stack of images. You can browse through them by using the mouse wheel. You can also pan within the view by clicking and dragging the slides with the left mouse button. Clicking on the reset button in the upper menu bar restores the default view. You can zoom into the image by using your mouse wheel and holding the control key at the same time. The magnification level is shown in the lower left corner of the views. Press F5 to reload the images at the selected resolution. This reload also optimizes the regional slide alignment. In the second view, in the upper right corner, you can see the stack of your sections as if they had been cut along the purple axis you see here. In the lower left corner, you can see the stack of sections as if they had been cut along the green axis you see here. In the lower right corner of Volume, you find the volume that you have reconstructed from your serial sections. By clicking and dragging the volume with your left mouse button, you can rotate it freely around any axis. In the upper right corner of each of the four views, you find a small triangle. Hover over it with your mouse and the menu opens. The first button allows you to enlarge the views to a full window size. Click again to minimize it. You can also take a snapshot of the respective view. After clicking, an explorer window will open and you can save the snapshot at the desired location. You can also display an overview window, which provides an orientation within the respective slide. Click again to switch off the overview window. With the last button, you can hide or unhide the crosshair. Turn your attention again to the crosshair. I will now show you how you can use them to create any kind of virtual cut through the slides. When you grab the knobs at the end of the crosshair, you can change its orientation. Correspondingly, the other two virtual cuts are updated as well, as the virtual cutting plane changes. A click on the reset button restores the default view again. Now I will show you different visualization features. Click on the button Visualization Options to open the editor. We will start with the Geometry tab. The slices can be activated by double-clicking. With the Slices option, you can visualize different slices represented by the crosshairs within the reconstructed volume. This feature is especially helpful for your orientation when you create virtual cutting planes as you can see here. Now turn your attention to the clipping option in the upper right part of the Geometry tab. With the clipping option, you can create clipping planes corresponding to the virtual cutting planes. Tick the option Top Right to clip the volume at the position of the purple plane. Scrolling with your mouse within the upper right view gradually moves the plane within the volume as you can see in the volume view. Drag the knob on the purple axis and you can also change the orientation of the purple clipping plane. In the Transparency tab, you can control 
the opacity and the intensity of the volume. Dragging on the knobs changes opacity and intensity. With the buttons at the top of the editor, you can load and save visualization options that you have previously defined. You can also set predefined color and transparency options like native RGB and several commonly used stains such as anatoxylin and eosin. Many more dyes can be combined individually in the custom mode. In the color tab, you can switch on and off channels like the hematoxylin and the eosin in this case. And you can also change brightness, contrast and gamma of the volume rendering. You can see that the changes affect the volume as well as the 2D views. Turn your attention once more to the Geometry tab. You can turn on and off the volume grid and the volume rendering itself. The spacing is shown in the lower left hand corner of the view when the volume grid is enabled. If you loaded a fluorescence dataset or are in stain rendering mode, you can right-click on Volume Rendering to open a context menu and select the Maximum Intensity Projection Rendering mode. The annotation group contains all measurement objects that you have previously defined. Within the segmentation group, you will find all segmentation results. This will be explained in more detail in the segmentation tutorial. To perform simple measurements, you can click on the Tools button and turn on Distance Measurements. Just click and drag your mouse over the structure to be measured. If you don't need a measurement anymore, you can select it by clicking on it and hitting the Delete key. Watch the next video in our Volume Tutorial series to find out more about Analysis and Segmentation. Please feel free to contact us for individual questions and pricing information.